Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing another item from uh, Endless or made by Endless. It is this notebook. This is the Observer notebook. Uh, and it says on the front here, for all minute details of life. Hardcover notebook, lays flat, ink loving regalia paper. Yes, this is one of their newest offerings. Uh, this is a brand that uh, started basically with the recorder notebook and then released things like the storyboard, which is the soft cover. And then you've had the, uh, the planner and the explorer, which was the leather cover. Now we've got the observer. So this is a kind of, this is a, a no fuss notebook uh, that is there for you sort of, and they, as they say, kind of when you need it. It comes in a, a little cardboard sleeve here with some details on the side and everything there, including some little uh, details there, fountain pen friendly uh, sort of paper -ish stuff going on there. Some very cool like gold uh, foil kind of embossing kind of thing going on on the cardboard cover. So this is a nice little cover. Um, and then uh, we slide that off and reveal this notebook. This is the uh, sand, beach sand version of the Observer. Uh, it's the sort of plain craft cardboard, if you will. I'll just read a little bit here from the back. Uh, uh, there is, there's seeing and then there's observing. The world around is filled with details we rarely notice. And when we do, our thoughts serve as a keepsake, a remnant of what our minds manage to gather. This notebook is your canvas to put those thoughts to paper. And then it goes into a little bit of information and some social media stuff uh, there, which you can uh, freeze and have a look at. But I'm going to have a bit of a talk about this. First, I'm going to cover parts, features, all that kind of thing. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the paper and some pros and cons. So just running over the basics of the cover, you've got a, a strong, very hard cover uh, card front and back. The back has the embossed endless logo there. Uh, and then the binding is this sort of like cloth binding that's sort of glued into place, uh, allowing the lay flat element of this book. So you can open it up fairly much any, pretty much anywhere and it will lay flat because the binding is folding over. I'll just remove the ribbon out of the way so we can see it. The binding is sort of folding over on itself. Now this is a fairly strong way of binding a notebook. Um, and I think because of that flexibility, it stops things like the spine cracking and all of that kind of thing. It's just, it, it's not a hard, sp hard spine notebook. Um, that is all there is on the outside, and that's kind of nice that it's it's so minimalist. Um, and so if we open up to the front here, now this is very new in my use of it because I wanted to show it uh, with just like as little life on it as possible. I've been using it for you know a few days and carrying it around, and you can see it's like a little bump mark there on the corner. I'm quite okay with that. Um, it's that kind of notebook. Now, if we open up to the front, you've got like end pages there that have space for you to put your details. And once again, the endless logo. Um, and then we get some table of contents pages, which is really nice. Now, the way I see this book working for a lot of people is in the it's kind of a bit like either a field journal or a bullet journal. So it's the kind of book you take with you uh, and you, uh, as the, the cover suggests, you know, you observe life and you can sort of put stuff in the contents pages, but this contents pages in the fact that it is a dot grid notebook with numbered pages kind of leans it also towards bullet journaling because those are two major features that bullet journalers really appreciate. Uh, as I said, it is dot grid and it is the 80 GSM regalia paper. So we're gonna flip to the back now where I've done a few tests and have some information. So I said it's regalia paper, 80 GSM. It's, uh, this is A5 size, by the way, sort of standard A5. Um, it's acid-free, dotted layout, has contents pages and 187 numbered pages. A page ribbon here, which uh, is in this sort of goldy sand color on this version. The archive storage cover or box, which is excellent. Um, lay flat binding, as I've shown you. It's designed in Madras and made in India. The dimensions are 8.2 by 5.8, so 8.2 inches by 5.8 inches, which is pretty stock standard A5 size. Now, the price. This book retails for on the Endless website for $17.99 US plus shipping. That's a pretty reasonable price for good quality paper, good quality binding, all those kinds of things. So let's talk about here the, uh, the the tests I've done. So this on this end page here, I've just used a bunch of different pens, Faber-Castell 
extra fine uh, grip pen with the uh, Diamond Oxford Blue, Waterman Kareen with Lamy Black, Agama Raja with Warringal Edward Hyde, a Visconti Van Gogh, very, very wet, generous pen with Robert Oster Hobart, a Lamy 2000, another very generous wet pen with a medium nib with Diamine Ochre. Then I've got uh, Noodler's Base State Blue in a Jinhao, and then Ballpoint Pilot G2, Sharpie Fineliner, a Tombow Mono 2B pencil, which I've done a simple eraser test and it worked okay. There's a little bit of texture on this paper, uh, and so it'll sort of stay around a little bit. I put a highlighter over a ballpoint. You can see it moved around a little bit because this paper's a little bit ink resistant, and then a Sharpie Ultra Fine marker. Then what I've done here is I put water down on this crosshatch and basically let it dry. I moved that with a water pen, and then I just did a smear of ink to see if we got any sheen and we get a little bit it's not super strong on this page it's actually more strong uh, on the notes here which is uh this is pelican uh edelstein tanzanite uh in a diplomat excellence a2 medium nib from memory uh and so not not the wettest pen in the world and you can see uh i don't know if it's coming up on the camera but there's a bit of sheen there coming through on that ink if you can excuse my horrid handwriting but here is where things get a little bit interesting. So I've reviewed regalia paper in the past and it's held up pretty much to everything. If we look at the reverse of this page, there are dots where these pens come through and I wouldn't actually expect that. This, some of these are fairly wet pens and we're talking about some pretty, well, to be perfectly honest, kind of aggressive inks. Um, but, and if you look here, like the Sharpie ultra fine marker doesn't come through and there's very little ghosting from those. Um, obviously where we put the paper under stress tests, a bit has come through. But what is kind of interesting is if we look at the reverse of this information page, like nothing, has, virtually nothing has come through on that. Now they say this is the ATGSM regalia paper and I have reviewed a number of products with that paper that have performed better than this, I'm not gonna lie. But I think for everyday writing with sort of, particularly with everyday writing pens, not super wet or super aggressive, I think you're not gonna have a problem. On the front of the page, everything looks beautiful. There's sheen, um, there's you know no feathering, all of that lovely shading. Like look at that diamine ochre there, the shading there is beautiful. I don't know if the sheen's gonna come up on the Gamma Raja with Edward Hyde there, but it's this beautiful sort of copper green, almost green sheen that's coming through. So everything looks nice on the front. There's just the odd spot of bleed in this particular notebook. Uh, as you can see there, and there's a cut, there is just like one or two spots where it just tries to eat through on this other side as well. So what are the pros and cons of this notebook? Well, uh, the pros are, it's a simple, no fuss design. It's very simple. It's a plain cardboard cover with a cloth binding. It lays flat, there's no, it's not fancy. Um, Super smooth, uh, super smooth paper, lovely to write. And when I say it's got a bit of tooth on it, it's just that it's not like a waxy smooth paper. Ink friendly, so it shows sheen, it shows shading. It generally forms very well. There's no feathering, perhaps a touch of bleed here and there, but not enough to really get in the way. Uh, and I said it's good for bullet journaling. Uh, and same thing goes to like that everyday carry feel journaling kind of feel about it. Um, the cons are, it's not a super durable cover. Like this cover is gonna show everything on it. Uh, it's gonna show scuffs and bumps and it's gonna like, if you accidentally get like oil on it, it's gonna show up on this. It's just simple card. So it's gonna sort of like fray on the corners and things like that. But that is what you will get with a cover like this. This is not the kind of book that is gonna say pristine and beautiful. This is to be used and lived with. Uh, and it will show that, and uh, it, I think it'll end up looking absolutely spectacular in that in that way. Um, the other thing I put here is the paper doesn't have the same feel as other regalia of paper I've tried. And so here I have, uh, this is the creative block from Made by Endless, which is the ADGSM regalia paper. And like, it just doesn't feel quite the same. I don't know how to describe, describe it, but like, there's like a smoothness and a resilience to this paper that this feels more like a little bit more rustic, a little bit more, um, I don't know how to put it, everyday kind of paper. Um, if we look at, here is um, a currently inked I did in December, which actually has a couple of these pens on it. So we've got the Lamy 2000, the Diamine Ochre and the uh, Gamma Raja with wearing all. And uh, you can see on the reverse of that, that virtually nothing has come through. So is this the same regalia paper or is it a slightly different batch? Um, you know, but 
it's for everyday use and for everyday sort of carry and you know for that kind of use i think this is absolutely fine so this was the endless observer notebook a really interesting very cool funky kind of notebook be great to put it in like a notebook cover or something like that that would protect this cover um you, you can get a lot of a5 notebook covers that take things uh like this um think of some of those galen leather products or even things as simple as the lead lab notebook covers um or even uh the uh the lockby journals those kinds of thing great for this kind of notebook it's nice to have good quality paper even though there's a little bit of bleed it is ink friendly um and uh it doesn't perform too badly all things considered uh so this was the made by endless uh observer notebook please big thank you to endless for sending this out for review um please like and subscribe hit the notifications button i'll link to uh, endless below so you can check it out on their website um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch. If there's a way you would like to support this channel uh, by sponsoring a review, providing item for review or anything like that, get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your notebooks, whatever they may be, and I'll talk to you soon.